As Lisa introduced, I'm Steve Caldwell. I am a co-founder along with my wife, Lori, of Swiss Rosti right here in Portland, Oregon. What is a Rosti? A Rosti is a handheld filled potato snack. And it originated in Bern, Switzerland as peasant food in the early 1800s. I've been a foodie and a recreational chef all my life. I'm always cooking in the kitchen, and I had the opportunity over the last several years to tour and travel and eat in over 30 countries. I always find the most hole-in-the-wall places to eat, but I came across something that I had never had before. It was at a catered event, and it was shredded potatoes filled with all kinds of proteins, cheeses, and vegetables. I thought, oh my God, this is a light changing, life-changing moment, and the light bulb went off. So I came back home, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I started doing some research, and I found out it's truly a Swiss Rosti. And as I looked around even more, I couldn't find it anywhere. So four or five years went by, life happened, and then I met Sarah Massoni at the uh, Food Innovation Center at Oregon State. She thought it was a product that they really wanted to wrap their arms around. So we went into ideation, and were able to, uh, develop a product in under 60 days. We were able to launch five flavors at their winter tasting event, and the very next day, Mr. John Boyle at Market of Choice was our very first grocery store chain to sign us. And I still didn't know where we, where we, uh, we, uh, we were gonna make it. I was able to secure a co-packer that has a special machine that actually can produce a dual encrusting and be able to fill these in mass. So to go back here, principle number one, ideation and talking to uh, Sarah Massoni and having a nationally recognized incubator to be able to develop the product and then recruit people to actually surround and wrap their arms around this product. Because one thing I do know is what I don't know. We developed a business plan and secured a small uh, seed round. Our principle number two is everybody loves potatoes. They're crispy, they're delicious. You can put anything on them, you can put anything with them, but there's never been a filled potato product on the market. It's innovative and it's unique. It's delicious and it's healthy, and they're all gluten-free. It's versatile for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, or appetizer. Any time is Rosti time. We go to principle number three, price to offer a balanced proposition. We roll out, we're currently pre-rev, and after we left the Food Innovation Center, we actually were able to exhibit at the uh, January Fancy Food Show in San Francisco. We were one of the top products in Incubator Alley, and it was that light bulb moment that everything changed. By the time we got home, within about four weeks, we had over 300 stores reaching out to us to put us on their shelves. And we were just getting ready to uh, get into our co-manufacturer. Since then, we were able to put together cost models that were, at, uh, were able to uh, launch next month in four packs. Four servings to a pack, and average SRP is $5.99. We're able to hold a 43% uh, retail chain margin, and we have a 15% Costco margin and food, uh, food service options as well. Principle number four, placement across all storefronts. Retail frozen food aisle. Grocery service deli, grab and go. Costco and other club chains, convenience store hot case and food service chain accounts. We are so humbled to, uh, to discuss today and let you know that Whole Foods, Market of Choice, Wegmans, Fred Meyer, QFC, Costco in September, uh, HEB Central Market in Texas, uh, and many other uh, stores are coming to us asking for this category creator and category disruptor. Principle number five, promotion to engage and to build consumer loyalty. We have a whole team behind us, and one of which is an in-store sampling marketing company that has come out of the woodwork to wrap their arms around us, to be able to be in any store, anywhere in the country, at any time, to be able to let people know what a Rosti is. Several weeks ago, we had the opportunity to be in a market of choice on Belmont with John Boyle and his team. And there were many vendors there, and it was really an exciting moment. To be, but to be able to see the faces come and taste, and then go to the frozen section, and then come back and want to know when they can get them, because we're not there yet, I finally pulled John over, and I said, John, this is, this is a problem, buddy. Our, our line is out the door, and people are asking for these. He says, that's what I wanted to hear. I just wanted to see the reaction. And it was an, inc it was an incredible day. It really was. 
We have chain-specific advertising program as well as an, as an aggressive social media program. One thing I know with millennials, we've got five kids, uh, the social media is one of the biggest things we can be doing. And we're definitely wrapping our arms ar uh, around that as well. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. We can take this and take these seven second uh, interval videos and post them all over social media and they'll be on our website. Have them for dinner, after school snacks, happy hour, anywhere, anytime, people are enjoying Rosties. They're crunchy, they're delicious. Our classic is the Swiss raclette. We import our cheese directly from Switzerland. And currently we have the baked potato and we have the chili cheese. They're currently all gluten-free and all vegetarian because we didn't know if our co-packer would be USDA certified. Well, they are, and they have all other certifications including organic, truly gluten-free, kosher, and USDA. So we'll be rolling out breakfast items, we'll be rolling out uh, the All-American, a bacon cheeseburger, croque monsieur, Gruyere and black forest ham, and bacon jalapeno popper, among a few. The potato is the vehicle for an infinite number of fillings. And with the number two consumed product in the world being potatoes, with our gross margins, 75% potatoes, we're able to hold these margins all across the board and continue to grow with us. So pre-revenue before we launch next month, by end of year, is roughly $2 million. 2020, as we go national with Whole Foods and Costco, exceeds that by almost four times. So, principle number six, recruit people that can help scale the brand. As I said before, we know what we don't know. We've got a team that is second to nobody. We have a, a lady from Renaissance Food Group out of California who's been executive vice president there for 12 years, been in CPG space, and have done, has been, done contract growing all across the country all of her life for produce. She came on board, and she's being appointed our CEO. She's uh, personally launched 1,400 SKUs nationally. The company that she's with launches over uh, 14,000 SKUs. We have a team of marketing and brand development that have been in the industry between the two of them over 70 years. We have our own in-store promo manager. We have administration. Our sales teams are ready. So my question to you all is, who wants to shred the market with us and crunch our way into crispy, rosty profits. Thank you.